says, thank you, Dr. Shax. Do you have a paper or a reference for that BMP? I had a cut that determines root depth. And I said, and I replied back just today, actually. And I said, here's one from 2002. Here's one from 1961. If you want to know more about this subject, I would look at the, re the references in this article here. And, um, and you'll find that cutting the turf grass lower, not always, but generally, if you cut, the lower you cut, the shorter the roots will grow. The, more, the higher you cut, the deeper the roots will grow. In general, there's going to be cases in the literature where you might find that's not the case. But in general, that's the case. And so uh, I just don't see any reason to cut it lower than necessary. And what is necessary is whatever the client's expectations are. Has, has his or her expectations been met at, say, two inches? Okay, they're met at two inches. Why drop it to one? Unless, he has, unless his expectations have changed and he has you know, wants the ball roll and the second cut to be different or something. I mean, unless they've changed, just leave it at one inch or two inches. Or in other words, keep moving it up until your height of cut and their expectations are met and leave it at that. It's like a self-calibration at your, at your site.